Welcome to another episode of Hidden Sunk Games. I'm Ash and today we're going to be taking a look at the rules followed by a review of this little beauty, Cranium. Cranium's by Hasbro Gaming. It's for a minimum of four players um, and it's for age 16 years old and over. Let me just read you a couple of things that you might not be able to see on the, on the front of this box. Uh, sketch and sculpt, fact or fiction, what's the word, take the stage, and in this bit here, the best uh, of Cranium for outrageous fun. The best, the very best. Um, Cranium's been going for a few years, so this is a compilation um, of the best bits. Anyway, let's take a look. Behold, Cranium. Let me first go through what you actually get with the game. Um, you get this lovely colourful board, which um, I remember when I first uh, played this game, I thought looked, you know, a little bit, bit simple. Um, but uh, yeah, it's definitely colourful. It's definitely eye-catching. Um, I'll tell you more about how that works in a second. You get two character counters. The reason, of course, that you only get two is because this game is basically about uh, two uh, teams that will um, go up against each other. So it's for four players and up. Um, so the maximum, or sorry, the minimum you can have is a team of two, the green team, and a team of two, the red team. Okay. Um, you get a timer, which will last one minute, apparently. Um, a ten-sided dice loaded with all these different colors. Um, a little uh, pad. Uh, and this little tub, which inside has some Play-Doh, if I can get the lid off. There we go. So... It's been used, it's still soft, but yep, yeah, you get it out and, uh, and uh, I will explain what you do with that in a second. So that's essentially what you get uh, on this part. Just behind the board, so I'm just gonna put this on here, move the board out of the way just for a second. Um, I'm gonna bring this part of the box forward, which has this handy uh, bit down the center for you to display the 200 cranium cards that come with the game. So, color coordinated, green, blue, yellow, and red. The greens are called the star performer cards, where you have to act, hum, and unleash your inner impersonator. This is uh, quotes from the game. Um, the blue is the creative cat, sketch, sculpt, and draw stick figure masterpieces, sometimes with your eyes closed. Uh, the yellow is a word worm, solve puzzles, uh, define fantastical words, or spell them backwards. And finally, the red cards at the back, data head. So solve, um, sleuth and see how, uh, see exactly how much you know, or you can guess. Okay, so those are what the cards are. So before you start each game, separate them all into their different colors and pop them in here, which displays them very nicely. Now, uh, essentially what you'll be doing is you'll be taking a card, um, it will tell you what to do on the front there, and the answer, or, or however you solve um, uh, this, will be on the back and then on the bottom. Uh, what you do is you turn the card upside down so you can see that. So you read that, whatever you decide to do, and then the answer or the way to solve that will be at there. So you just flip the card over. Now uh, the, the white will be your... Um, I guess you could say, not easy, but certainly kind of a, any, anyone can, can get involved in these. And then if you flip the card over, you've got the same bit of text uh, uh, asking you to do a different uh, thing, different activity with a black background. These are slightly harder. And in case you haven't worked out the answer or the, the solution to this, will again, if we flip it over, be on the, the bottom there. So let's just have a quick read through. Let's, let's just go for the white. Um, choose a performer from your team. Uh, to move a teammate's arms and legs like a puppet with no talking or sound effects. The puppet can help guess uh, the answer. Um, I'll read the hint aloud, pass the card to the puppeteer, and then start the timer. The hint is activity, and then of course the, uh, the person that's being moved about will need to guess that, so if you flip it over, the answer will be juggling. So if I was to I don't know, if I was going to be the, the master puppeteer, should you say, I'd be moving someone's arms and maybe, I don't know, move their head. You've got to remember, you've got the minute timer to get this done. So it will, uh, it's kind of all going to be in a bit of confusion, a bit of chaos, but uh, really a lot of fun. Um, the creative cat, this, this is all about using the Play-Doh 
and the uh, the pad for for sketching. So everyone plays. This is an everyone play card. Choose one performer from your team to draw clues on the paper with no talking, letters or symbols. Uh, the winner uh, will get an immediate bonus roll. And the team whose turn it was gets another card. Yada, yada, yada. The hint is a TV show, um, and the answer is The Office. Um, well, I'm sure there is a way to do that, but you know, oh God, thinking about that, that's a pretty tough one. Um, quick look at the yellow. Just uh, these are completely random. I haven't looked at these, so it's a, uh, a word kind of puzzle. There, your team must um, must complete the word by filling in the blanks. Um, the answer is going to be uh, calligraphy. Quite a tough one there. And uh, let's just see what's on this this red card here. Your team must correctly answer the multiple choice question um, below. So you give the options A, B, C, or D. Flip it over, um, and it will tell you the answer is A. Um, now what you do? So let's just revert back to the board, just very very quickly. So the way this this game works is the team that starts. Okay, and, and according to the rules, you basically pick, um, pick the first person who has their birthday uh, coming up is the team that starts. Uh, let me just move these off. So everyone, uh, the two teams, the green and the red, everyone starts from this brain in the top corner. They have to work around the board um, and then get to the middle. And it's the first team there that wins. So the team with the first person who has their birthday and starts they simply roll uh, this uh, this kind of coloured dice, um, landed on red. So let's say I'm the green team that's starting. I would then move to red. If I um, so I need to take one of the red cards um, that I just showed you. So you take the top card of that. If I get that right, or should I say, if my team gets that right, then on our next uh, go, we well on that go, we actually roll the dice. Poor roll red again um, and then we move all the way to whatever that color lands we don't have our go until the other team uh, and then have theirs um, go meaning take the card if for example we didn't get that one um, we don't roll the dice we don't move on we wait until the next go and we have to take another red card we don't roll the dice we once you're on the color whether it be red yellow blue green if you don't get it right first time you have to keep taking that color card until you do get it right and then you can roll and move off that. So that was a green, so the next green is all the way up here. So you can see the pattern, you keep rolling the dice, you keep, you've got to get things right otherwise you're not moving. And then finally, um, if I was say on this yellow and I rolled a red, um, of course there isn't a red ahead of me so I would automatically go straight to the cranium center. And that is how you win the game. Um, it's quite simple, as you uh, as you could probably guess. But let me tell you um, what I like about this game, what I don't like about this game, in my review. So, what did I think of Cranium? Well, um, to start with, I remember I, I first played this game around a friend's house, um, and I fell in love with that. We had we had a great time. There was a there was a big group of us. We were laughing our heads off, and that was when I knew I had to buy this game. Um, so I bought the game. And, um, you know, when I first actually got the box, I thought to myself, well, quite a small box. Um, and I opened it up. And as I just said, I, I thought it looked quite, quite simple. Um, but, you know, just because a game looks fairly simple and it's not all intrinsic and detailed doesn't mean it's not going to be a great laugh. And of course, I already knew that. But I'm thinking if you, um, you know, just buy this game without playing it. Um, it's a very colourful, bright game, and there's something I really like about just bright, eye-catching, fun games. It's definitely in that kind of family fun type game. It's not a strategy game, of course. This isn't a Risk or, or some Game of Thrones strategy game or Warhammer. This is just family fun. Get your friends round, um, get a few you know, drinks going maybe, and just have a great time with this game. Um, so looks, yeah, really like it, nice and colourful, um, if a little bit uh, basic. Uh, how does it play though? Uh, you know, like I said, this game is, is all about fun. It's all about getting people together and having a great time. Um, I think the cards are set out really nicely. You get 200 of them. So you're going to be never sport for choice. And don't forget, you've got the front and the back, the easier version and the harder version. And I really like that. I think without a doubt, the best cards in here are the cards that, that um, enable you to use the sketch pad, the sketching ones, um, and the Play-Doh, and when you have to act, when you have to do an impersonation or um, 
as I used in, in the example, that moving the puppet, so two of you, one of you has to move the other person's hands like a puppet, and they have to guess what they are. Um, the juggler was the, was the answer to the one we just did. Those are definitely the best ones. Um, I know a lot of it is from the roll of the dice, but if ever you're in a situation, and it sometimes does come up where you kind of have to choose um, your card, then definitely, definitely go for them. The other cards, I think it's the, the, the red ones, where it's kind of a multiple choice question, they're not so fun. I mean, who really likes a multiple choice question at a party game? Not me. So I try and avoid the red ones, and if ever you land on the red, you know, it sucks, but you just gotta get it over with. And the word kind of, the word scrambles, I, I'm sure there are gonna be a lot of people that, that like that type of thing. For me, I prefer, as I say, the action stuff and the impressions. So again, when I land on yellow, it's a little bit, oh man, got to get this, this done. But, um, you know, it can be fun. It can be fun, certainly working in a team. Because don't forget, this game is all about, all about teamwork. It's not an individual game. There's going to be at least two of you on a team. And, you know, the size of your teams can be as, as big as anything. You could have a team of 50 people, although that would absolutely be chaos. Um, so yeah, the, the cards, definitely, they're, they're, they're very good. They, they let you do some really fun fun stuff. Um, you've got to play this game with a bit of space. So, you know, you've got to be allowed to get out of your chair, walk around, do some actions, throw your hands up. So uh, just make sure you have that when you play. Um, I do think the game can be a little bit short. Uh, when you compare it maybe to a game like Articulate, I've got another uh, rules and review video on that. Articulate is definitely a longer game. Um, but as I always say, with shorter games, Course, there's nothing stopping you playing it through twice and that's quite often what we do we play it um, two or three times just to kind of extend it out and of course the team that loses then wants to get revenge so it all kind of you know turns into a nice little party atmosphere um, game so just to sum up uh, I absolutely love cranium um, cra you know you may have heard of cranium cranium has been around for years I would put it in that category of the articulate of the pictionaries the trivia pursuits in that kind of category of game and it fits really nicely um, it's definitely a classic in my book. Whenever I have friends around a party, this is one of um, the first games that we will get out and have some fun. So to me, it's definitely a big hit and I would certainly recommend it.